Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I've decided to make a segment in the off season because you deserve it. We're sitting here, um, we're sitting here doing a 420 chill set stream. Um, we've got our material laid out. We've got our stuff. I'm giving you a wider view of the, I'm giving you a wider view of the set because we're in the off season. So, you know, you get a little, you get a little less production. Um, here's, here's, here's my story for you. I told the story the last time in the lore segments of the time I traveled out to go see this girl that had to have been like 90 miles away or some shit, and she broke up with me the moment I arrived. You want to hear the you want to hear about the person that I met after this? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring you to 2016, the absolute worst year of my life. And it was at the same year that I was doing great with table tennis. Pokemon Go, it just came out. You know, I was kind of scared about Trump winning, but, um, let's talk about, let's talk about, that's crazy too. How did I feel when Trump won? That's, that's something that I've always wanted to know. I'm not going to do the ADHD thing. I like to stick with this story, but like, it's kind of crazy that I was going through. Huh? Okay. 2016 was worse than any of the last two. I mean, for me personally, like 2020, I mean, I've had 155 plus. Um, yeah, dad check. Yeah. Um, I've had 155 people die since this pandemic. So like when I say worst, I mean like growth wise not like world wise because when i became an adult things that were bad to me before weren't bad to me now you're also going to find out that i talk a lot and i'm able to think about things on the fly in a way there's a rhythm that's unstoppable so don't get surprised if i look at your comment and start going off into a range into a tangent or a rant about anything that you've said it's not anything personal i'm just in the mood today to be able to fly and flow because i'm not doing my normal show bars bars anyway the person i met after this Oh, she was a uh, So as you guys know, I don't say names out loud, but this this one, this one. Her name was Christina. And Christina was 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 something, bro. So she came over to my house the moment. Christina came over i remember i had seen her on facebook or whatever like a couple times before i was really lonely because i just got my heart broken and i was working most of the time so i was like really like into that this was the time that i had i had taught for a week at the university of pennsylvania too so you know i was on a high like life was just you know i was burying myself in the work and the creation and the music i was i was getting starting to get booked for poetry again she hit me up and she was like, yo, I'm in Harlem. Like, are you around this area? I kind of remember you being around this area. So I was like, yo, yo, what's up? Come through, come through. So she came through and we started talking for a little bit and she was explaining to me how she was like technically homeless because she was adopted by some people and those people were really mean to her and like she couldn't stand it anymore but they were willing to like if she could find an apartment in the city they'd be willing to pay the rent for it da -da -da -this, da -da -da -da. it was like one of them like i trauma dumped on top of you now accept me so i was like yeah 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 whatever 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 i gotta change the high level sorry Anyway, so I was like, oh, wait, no, that's a bad one. Sorry. So I was like, all right, like, I guess if you need a place to stay, I did the thing, you know, the fucking thing that men do. Always picking up 
fucking women off the fucking internet, bro. And I hate it. I hate that we do that shit. Like, no priors, no check, no, like, no vibe check, none of that. Just if if you want to help somebody, I was in that real, like, help shit. And that's why I like the lavalier microphone, because now I can do other things. And as long as the wire permits, plus I have an extender, so I might be able to go wherever. What's up, Supernatural? How you doing today? We're in the middle of a YouTube segment, so uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate you joining in. We appreciate you joining in. in. Let me move that light out of the way so you guys can read the chat. But that's an ugly bounce. Okay, anyway, as I was saying. <laughs> now, here's where the story becomes deeper. Watch as she turns from a simple, normal Yamcha into a Vegeta-type villain. Yo. So... <laughs> Before she leave that first night, before she leave that first night, bro, she asked me, I got this dub on me. Are you trying to smoke it? Because I'm trying to sell it. And I was, because she's like, I don't got no money. You know, I'm trying to make my little money wherever I can make my little money. And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? You know what? I, was, I wasn't I was a smoker, smoker type smoker. But the last girl that I was dating, she was like, she needed to smoke to quell her stomach issues or whatever. So, like, I would end up smoking around her most of the time. I wouldn't really smoke otherwise. So, I was like, sure, yo, 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 like, sure, okay, whatever, blah, 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 do this, do that, cool, whatever, like, you do you. She left, and I should have known right then and there where this situation was motherfucking headed. But I could not, for the life of me, get to the point that I was going to end up at. And the reason why I'm telling you this story, or the reason why we're doing this on this Twitch stream, my YouTube audience, is because somebody was talking about issues that they had with their rent. And it reminded me of a situation in which I got caught up in almost the same thing. But if I were to just go into the situation about the rent and say, this person didn't pay this and this person didn't pay that, it would be doing you a grave disservice to be able to explain this stuff to you in a way that at least feels like you could connect to it. So I'm giving you the background on why I was even in this apartment in the first place, which requires me to give you the background and the actual story of this person named Christina. So she hit me up again and she was like, yo, like, were you serious about letting me stay over, blah, 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 whatever. I could really use a place to stay while I look for an apartment, da, 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 da. So me having already had the first girl stay over for a set of days and I was having other people that year stay at a set of days, like, it was just the type of thing I did with the women in my life at the time that I was romantically interested in. That was to bite me in the feet, in, in the face. That was to bite me in the foot. That was to stab me in the back. Very, very soon. So, this music is fucking amazing, by the way. This is our first chill session stream, so you'll have to excuse me. I'm used to like preparing two hours of research to talk about a topic. <laughs> so, yo, so. <laughs> So, <laughs> so she hit me up and she's like, are you serious about that? And I'm like, yeah, 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 come through, come through, come through. Like the dickhead I am. And, <laughs> and so she come through again and she got a little bag packed and whatnot. And, and like, I got scammed. Yes. Yes. Okay, you passed you passed the vibe check. Oh my god. It's so I So she come back with a little bag or whatever and I'm like, "All right, so cool, 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 cool. Do what you got to do, do what you got to do." We start chilling, you know, she's over here, but I'm like My dad's also coming into some money as well, so it was a situation where as she was starting to stay more and more days, that time was coming nearer and nearer. So, like, he gets into his modes, and I've already told you guys about my dad's vices, so I don't need to go any further into that. 
And that's good that I said that. See, this is what I talk about when I'm saying, like, yo, I'm setting a ground for y'all to understand what the fuck is going on. Because now I can say shit like, oh, you guys know the thing with my dad. And I don't have to, like, keep reiterating and explaining it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my YouTube, uh, go look at my YouTube episode on co drug abuse and codependency. Uh, the story of living in an unhealthy home. Anyway. So I was like, I was like, cool. You know, hey. sorry, hey. I'm, I'm not having a moment. I'm not having a moment. Hey. I just remembered that we had turned the light up a little and I need to turn it down again to extend the battery life because that, sh that shit would have tripped me out. That shit would have tripped me out if I would have seen that and been like, oh, it turned black. <laughs> anyway, so she come over again. We're staying and spending a couple days. My dad's coming into some money, so it's starting to get a little tense around the house because, you know, he want to be himself and blah, blah, blah. And he can't do his thing if there's somebody else there. Plus, I'm looking for a new job. I'm looking for some new place to work. Da, 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 this. Da, 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 that. So she stay over for like a good month. Now it's my birthday. My dad go out, he buy me the TV that you see and up above, he buy me the PS4, um, my old PS4. He buy me a couple games. I was already on, on that Uncharted shit right when it came out. And I was like, oh, thank you, dad, I love you. Like, you know, thank you for looking out. I had a different entertainment and I'm gonna buy the, that's part of the story is like, why I brought up the whole rent thing, um, or why we're going through this story to get to that part, I should say. So I was like, yo, yeah, 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 um, that was cool, got a new air conditioner, he put carpet on the floor, this is why I have carpet on my floor now from 2016, that's, that is correct. Come on, damn. So I was, I was like, I was like, also, I saw your comment about the uh, ministry panels. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I, I'm trying to place myself in the story so I don't fucking lose it because it gets mad complicated right here. So she spends more than about a month here. My dad starts getting nervous about her being a squatter, you know, like him trying to, you know, use the tenants' rights things. Meanwhile, on the other side, like, of course, me and her start fucking. Like, that's gonna happen. It's, you know, it's bound to happen. Blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But, like, I'm actually starting to like her because she got a nice, interesting personality. And yeah, a month. I'm, yes, um, when I was younger, like five six years ago i was a fucking dumbass like i said i was a real big dickhead <laughs> like i was a real big fucking dickhead like anyway so i took pity on her and i say it this way now because when i thought about it back then it was more like i took an, a, a liking to her because it didn't take that much for somebody like that to be not trained to be better but like it, it like the skills that you need to navigate that situation between you and your parents you could you could you could you could do that like you could do that like within like two weeks you know if you really sat down and says you're here with me you know you're not really doing much I got a new job, but it was paying $13 an hour, and it's, it was fucking horrible. And I was used, I literally just came off a job where I was getting paid $20 an hour, and it was one of them after-school jobs, four hours a day, and it just, you know, it was, I liked it because it was close to me. I didn't have to travel around boroughs. It was like a 10-minute walk from my house, but, like, wasn't my, wasn't my space, wasn't my children. You know, you, as I always say, you know when you know it's time. So like, it's now October, getting closer to November, getting closer to Thanksgiving. The situation between my dad and her is getting more and more tense because he believes that she is using us 
and she's gonna try to pull some dumb shit and like you gotta be able to read people and I was of course pussy whipped so like I was thinking in my head like nah you're not about to fuck up my, my bag bro you're not about to fuck up my bag bro plus her father was sending money to me for her as like an appreciation for letting her stay at the house Bro, I'm not stopping the fucking thing, bro. So it all comes to a head at some point where my dad just tells her, like, you got to get the fuck out. You got to get the fuck out. You got to get the fuck out. So I was like, what is she supposed to do? And he was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I was like... All right, you're also being like a little bit of a druggie. You're being a really big alcoholic. Like, I don't like this. To you or to the homeless lady? <laughs> That's so nice how you wrote that. <laughs> to her, to her, to Christina. Her name's Christina. And like, I'm obviously skipping a lot of very intimate, close moments, but just assume that like, while my dad was doing the dumb shit, like, I was getting, like, to know her. I was also, like, traveling out to, like, do different type of table tennis events. It was a real big thing. At some point, when I was at my job at orientation, the first job um, of that year, her bike got stolen. She let me ride her bike to my job, and then somebody stole the bike. So we got her a new bike. This is a fucking important. Remember that. Detail. Hello. Clue it in, McFly. Put it in the box. I was hoping she'd be chilling at my spot. All this hope is all I got. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Milton. All right, Milton. It looked like Milton. Milton, one of them uh, vibe motherfuckers. <laughs> um, yes. But like the other way around, I had found her an apartment and my dumbass said, well, if my dad's being a dickhead and she like got the, the free rent effectively, like why not just go, cause I'm already giving $200 to my dad a month. Why not just go somewhere where I can get 250 for a month and be on my own and be with a girl I'm fucking. Mistakes were made. All right, look at me. I am Joseph Moreno. And you're about to see one of the craziest things you've ever fucking seen in your life, all right? My name is Joseph Moreno. I am Joseph Moreno. <laughs> I love that meme. You thought some eye scratch. Right, right, exactly. So, so I got my boy Will. Yo, shout out Will. Shout out Will, Will. Will, that's my, I'm about, matter of fact, Matter of fact, I'm dead ass like in the middle of this YouTube segment. No corny shit. No corny shit. What do we do? I swear it shouldn't be this hard. I swear it shouldn't be this hard. About to get a fucking job. As I lose my fucking job. Not even going to pretend. Not even going. I'm dead going to show y'all in real time. That's my bro, that's my brody, and I'm letting them know I'm talking about him. Deadass. Anyway. Not even ADHD, like, it just, you know, you, we, you gotta give people they, and I'm gonna keep saying this until I stop streaming forever, you gotta give people they flowers while they're here. Like, if my mind wanders to you and it's a good thought, a solid thought, like, I appreciate you, like, yo, I was, I'm deadass was talking to him about something and, and I thought about you and I just want to make sure you're good like gotta give people I've lost too many people over the last two and a half years yo I gotta give my motherfuckers they flowers while they here anyway so yeah we moved out and obviously my dad was throwing mad bitch fits but my man Will came through and had the vehicle and had the and had the, the 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 wherewithal to know how to move shit was helping me up the, and we was on the 15th floor we was trying to like we was trying so desperately desperately to get it done fast he was helping me position everything so i was moving my stuff in because she was supposed to get her stuff from 
where her parents lived that she never fucking did. Now we're at the point where, and I'm skipping a lot of the story, obviously, because you can get that, like, throughout all of this, she was kind of acting aloof and like, oh, great. All right, so now we started this entire conversation or we started this story based on the idea of me needing to tell you what it had to do about, was the rent really 250 or so? Did this story take place in 1972? It was my share of the rent, I should say. It was me, Christina, somebody else, um, and another person, so four people. It was a three bedroom apartment, so us two were in one bedroom, um, that and that, and it was in the projects. That's why the rent was so low. And you see where I was trying to like Bill, you know, if two people move out, it's based on your income, you can leave the lease in somebody else's name, that could be a way I can lay my own apartment. I'm about to tell y'all, yo, when we get to the end of this, this part, you're going to be like, oh my God, after all that explanation, no fucking way. So, for my old job, is this what you linked? I'm paying to attention to the story, I promise. <laughs> Different one, but it's good copy. Um, so we were, we were kind of like trying to figure out after we had moved in, like responsibilities, getting food. I had bought, I had spent mad bread. Like, I had spent mad bread. Mini fridge. I moved most of the shit in this room. That It's not here now, obviously, because I got new shit, because I had to. But um, I had moved. That smoke looked crazy on screen, bro. Hey, DJ, that was a great um, example for the smoke buddy. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that, you know? Anyway. So. <coughs> so. While we were sitting there in the house. At some point, this bitch just turned like a, like a virus. Like, like. I don't know what happened, bro, but like I was doing so much. I got a new job that had paid more. I was like traveling all the way to the middle of Brooklyn. I was doing, I was just doing shit for this girl, yo. I swear to you, when I tell y'all, like, when I tell you, when I tell you, yo, It was just like, like, at every, you know that song? You know that song? Oh, this is probably going to get this whole segment muted, but we going. You know what the type of relationship was? You know what the type of relationship was? I'm going to tell you right now. And I'm going to tell you in the realest way I think I could ever. Yo, YouTube, please, bro. I need y'all. I know y'all don't make exceptions, but I'm asking you in the video. I'm asking you in the video, please, bro, don't, don't do this to me. I need this to play. It's a goddamn shame. We don't go to the ground, baby, you the goddamn blame. See, I wanted love, but you wanted goddamn fame. Every goddamn thing. I wanted a bitch who was on a move, but you want a goddamn lay. Uh, Leaks of my problems, got that one in my bed and she wants want to wanna sleep Fucking up all of the sheets, she only wake up to eat Do this shit every week, like why you do that? Tell her you wanna be great, but sleeping until the next day Why you do that? Don't get that much in the bank We go out, she ordered a steak And yo, she really did, we went out for Applebee's for Thanksgiving And she ordered like mad shit, like, and I'm like, we don't have that type of money like, I don't know who you think this is or what this is, but, like, we're not fucking balling. We're living off of, like, 1800 a month. Like, don't do that. Don't, don't fucking do that. You're glad that your money isn't taxed, but my money is fucking taxed. And if there's fucking vacations or school isn't in or whatever, then, like, yo, you're fucking wiling, bro. 
We're not talking about this. We're not talking about this. We're talking about this. Like, yo. Bro. And when I say, like, I heard that song and Worst Luck later on in 2017. And when I tell you, I was like, damn, I wish this song would have existed. Like, or I wish I would have heard this shit when I was in that relationship because I would have realized she really do that. She sleep until the next day, wake up, like sweep a little, try to cook something once out of the week. And the rest of the time she'd just be asleep unless she wanted sex. It was one of those like really like, Brian, you want to be great, but sleeping until the next day. Like it was really one of those. And... Oh, Josie. Josie. Oh, Josie. Oh, Josie would be so much better than Christine. And it's like you just popped in so it's so hard to explain to you how bad this situation is that we're in right now. Um, shout out Josie Rose, um, one of the most premier um informative human beings on transgender issues. Um, we're currently in the middle of a crisis for trans people in America. So, um, um, please do me a favor, go check them out. If you have any questions, if you are one of those people who is like, I don't think trans people exist and da 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 this and that. I promise you, um, go through just one of her wonderful, wonderful, um, segments, streams, anything. Um, she also runs the... I believe it is called the Transgender National Survey. Um, there was a what? There was a shooting at the what? At a Craig Robinson show? He wasn't shot? <laughs> that kind of energy would break down your creativity, Robin. derived it happened to me. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, yo, it was wild to me. Um, it was wild to me. How Fade Runner with the raid. Oh man, we're getting a lot of things happening during a YouTube segment. This is crazy. Yeah, I know who Craig Robinson is. I just didn't US Trans Survey. Thank you. Um, you're free to link that if you would like. Um, thank you for the raid. Um, I'm in the middle of a YouTube segment, but like we're also not doing like a real stream. So What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, that is correct. All of you are currently on the YouTube right now. If you wouldn't mind, please do me a favor. Click that motherfucking link so you can be counted as a viewer. That's right, I got a new lavalier microphone set up so you can hear me 24-7 all of the time, all of the time, when you need it, when you need it, when you need it. Oh, yes, baby, do me a favor. Also, by the way, if you could do me one quick favor, click some of these links so you can join the community and get more shifted in with the community. We want you to shift in the sand, baby boy. My name is The Paradigm Shift. I talk politics, I talk poetry, I talk art, I talk... A whole bunch of stuff. We're currently in the off season. We're getting prepared for season three. Thank you for rating us today. Thank you for trusting me with your audience and hoping that I can entertain them for the rest of their nights. If you're leaving at the moment right now, please do me a favor. You don't have to do anything, but just please do me this one way favor. Find a streamer that you enjoy, and I hope that God that community enjoys you too because you deserve a place in Twitch just like everyone else does. I love you and have a good night if you are set heading on your way home. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway. Links, links, and more links. I got stuff for you all the time, baby. I got, I got it all the time. What did you say? They told me to vote for Biden, so I did. They told me after the bad man Trump would all get better. Well, it's so much worse. Bro, does this even look like a politics? Do I look like a political motherfucker? Timed him out. I would have just banned his shit. <laughs> um, yes, Josie is one of my favorites. Anyway, Christina, bad story. Because <laughs> you're on YouTube right now and you're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Has a comfortable superstar been in here before? 39 messages. Yo! Oh my god! That was the dude who I timed out for three! Oh my god, he really came back! Yo! He came back! 
Yo, I timed him out for like, I think like three weeks and he came back. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> oh my God, he sat there waiting for the timer to expire. <laughs> he said a fucking remote. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! In the middle of a YouTube segment. Oh my god! This is why you guys need to come to the fucking Twitch. I'm giving it to you live, bro. Chill sesh. Four twenty. Chill sesh. Maybe I'll just do these. Until, like, the season starts. <laughs> you are living rent-free. Like, actually, though. Like, bro. Because I'll show y'all. Oh, my God. Skip the alerts. Skip the alerts. Skip the alerts. Oh, my God. I will show y'all, bro. Because I just saw the name come up. And I was like, yo. I was like, yo. Why don't I get the... Oh, because I need to do it in chat arena, right? Because <laughs> I was like, yo. This was the dude that was like, pray for America. Gas is $7 a gallon in LA. Uh, put Trump in office. Keep focusing on January 6th, you fucking clown boys. At Chicago has 14 murders a day. <laughs> Yo, you permanently divided us. Was it worth it? I know. Was it worth it? Per hashtag permanently divided. So I timed him out. For what is this? Like 10 hours? I timed him out for four, a month. He came back. It's a week. And he came back. He came back. Yes, yeah, six thirteen to seven seventeen. He came back. <laughs> oh my fucking god, bro! Seek help, please. Seek fucking help. <laughs> that just derailed my whole stream. Anyway, back to the story. That's amazing. That's just, that's dedication. You know what? I'm unbanning him. I'm unbanning him because, because I, I got to respect that. I got to respect that. <laughs> like, I just got to respect that. Like, <laughs> right? In the middle of a night, a Sunday night, and he was thinking about me. I got to just respect that. Like, that's real shit. I don't know who you are. I think you're a fucking clown, but like, respect that. Like, <laughs> that man waited. I am going to sit in the gulag for as long as I have to, but I'm going to get you what I want. <laughs> That's beautiful. Anyway. So while we were living in there, she, while we, she was living here, she was doing the Six Lack song. And while we were, um, and while we were living there, she was uh, doing the Six Lack, Six, Six, why am I saying Six Lack? I'm trying to do the meme, but it's like, I gotta set up the meme first. You can't just go into it. Anyway, I, the Black song and then the Black song after that. She really lived that lifestyle. So I was like, yo, you need to get a job. You need to do this. You need to do that. Like I was starting to get on her ass and it was starting to become annoying to come home every day to the point where like at one point she had kept me up. Now, mind you, this apartment was fucking roach infested. It was one of them. Pro it wasn't well kept. It was like one of those like, but the girl who had invited us in was mad prissy about it. She was acting like she was like. She was acting like she was clean, bro. She was acting like she was 
Like, I remember opening a closet and, like, a bunch of roaches that came out of the fucking door type of shit. It was one of them places. Yeah, horrible. So, like, I was already uncomfortable there because, like, I honestly, I'll move in anywhere if I can use your kitchen. I couldn't make a meal in that kitchen. I couldn't leave food in that kitchen. You know what I mean? Like, food was my comfort at the time. I was really chefing it up. I had just left um, working as a chef. So, like, that was my thing. And... So I'm already stressed out about the fact that I chose to live there. Then my dad needs surgery. I spend like a portion of Thanksgiving with him. I try to like do some shit and it just don't work. And like I try to repair my relationship with my dad because we were screaming at each other and da 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 this and that. Turns out that was a mistake too. I should have definitely severed the relationship with my father at that point. But like I, I saw an opportunity and I took it, you know. When else are you going to be able to get an apartment for so cheap? If I was smarter, you know what I should have done? If I was smarter, I should have moved into that apartment by myself. But I saw an opportunity to pay even less rent. I killed some bonds last night. Suicide of me, my boy, we dropped the bomb and strike. One time you see me pull over course, my mom just like. Says she wish she hit a border source, my mom just died. Look ahead, I'm used to edge, the rates along just might. Yes, it is the bigger, better smoke, buddy. Yes, it is. Cause I'm blowing clouds. Anyway, so, um, the relationship between me and her is deteriorating to the point where, like, one day I was supposed to go to the HRA, which is why I mentioned the story. Because if you were on this Twitch stream earlier, you just saw me play something from the colored corner, which is my old stories about songs and shit. Now, maybe for my Twitch audience, this is all starting to connect a little bit more. Um, so, things got to a really, really rocky, rocky fucking point to where, like, I, I just couldn't stand her. Like, she had woken me up at, like, 4 o'clock in the, in the morning, 4 a.m., with, like, I think she had an object in her hand and my phone in her hand. She had unlocked it. And she was like, yo, who's Emily? And I was like, some bitch I was talking to like five, six months ago. So what's the issue here? And she was like, but you and me were like kind of seeing each other back then. And I was like, yeah, but we weren't an item yet. So like, I didn't know where it was going to go. I didn't know what was going to happen. Why would I just cut off my options for... Oh, okay. Um, I was obviously gonna. You know who I'm talking about? Me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Do you know who I'm talking about? Christina. <laughs> he know. He know. Turn me up. He know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I just, I just thought that'd be funny to tell you because he know. Who keep interrupting you? My father. <laughs> My father. I live with the father that does the drugs. You know? He shook his head no, didn't he? Nah, he was like, oh, and he started laughing. Yeah, because he dealt with it. It was funny because my father, and let me not get to this point yet. Let me leave that in the, anyway, so like, yeah, 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 yeah. Me and him are open about it. He knows I got to talk about it in order to keep my anxiety and depression at a low. So he's just like, yo, just don't paint me in a bad light. Let me know, let the people know I did good for you. And they're like, oh, it's selling that. Like, for all the negative shit that we could really get into, like, I also became, like, not a fucking knucklehead because of him. Like, it, there was a hard line. You're not going to do this dumb shit. So that was cool. Anyway, so if you've been watching this far into this youtube segment i appreciate you i really do i really do you probably put me on in the background and you're like fucking chilling with me blah, blah, blah. anyway so she woke me up and asked me who the fuck emily was i was like some girl from before we're talking blah 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 so she started getting really possessive she started getting really angry she started like her hair started falling out like it was one of them like situations so i was like my dad's about to have surgery 
I'm realizing like as sucky as it's gonna be like he need me a lot more than I need him and I gotta make sure this dude is good come for the next couple years and it's funny because then I ended up saving his life late uh I ended up saving his life uh, five years later so like sometimes it's all interconnected whether we want to agree with it or not um anyway So, like, how many times have I, had, have I said so, like, um, when we started getting closer to my dad's surgery date, and then the day of, I started spending time with him at night because I needed to make sure he was doing his, he should have looked out a little sooner, facts. Um, it was... evident that like Christina didn't like the fact that I was spending time back at the house and I was like yo if I'm gonna really be spending time watching and waiting to make sure he's good like if I'm gonna have to spend hours here blah 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 I should probably bring my computer back here and then after a period of time when I started talking to my dad it became apparent like it became apparent to me that like I'm going to have to move back home. It's like there was too much moving back and forth. The day of the surgery when he came home, it turned out he could walk. So he was having surgery on his leg. And they thought it was going to be like, you know, my leg surgery. Like, you know, you got to be in a wheelchair for a couple of Nah, no, he was able to walk like out the hospital. It was crazy. Like, and he was trying to, like, and I guess he was mad at me and didn't want to, like, have me do too much or blah, 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 whatever. But, like, the day of, he was trying to go to the bank. He was trying to do this. He was trying to do that. And I was like, damn, bro, just relax. Just calm down. And he was not calming down at all. Anyway, that's my dad. Stallion to the end. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, as I try to figure out what's going on and I realize I need to move back home, she starts becoming possessive. Please don't leave me. Please don't da da da. Please don't do like. Please don't do this. Um, I love you. Like the whole nine. And how can you leave me here? Like, and I'm just like, yo, I'm going five blocks down the road. I don't, I don't understand. Like, I'm not like I'm not gonna be able to help you the same way. I'm just, I'm going back to move back with my dad, like, cause he needs me. And I was like, and so she getting all possessive and shit. To the point where I can't even take the shit of mine out of the apartment because she's like, no, I don't want you to come over today. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to move out. I don't want you to take this. I don't want you to take that just right now. I need it. I need it. It's mine. I need it, you know? I was like, yo, I need my laptop, I need my PC. She's like, how am I going to look for jobs? I'm like, bro, you got, y'all got Wi-Fi. I paid for the internet service. You're good. Weird shit, you know? Just real weirdo shit. And it was, it was like, I like, I was feeling it, but like, all right, this clingy shit not working with me. I'm starting to evolve into a bit. A better stronger being I'm starting to figure out like like I'm starting to be able to write poetry in a way that's starting to reflect the real gritty like word play that I've been trying to do my entire life like this shit did you I'm starting to work weddings now and with weddings of course like the craziest part is going to be that um that candle is giving off a nice ambient lighting, nice supplemental lighting, real candle. I can set this one to act like a candle and it's like it's not going to work. <laughs> um, so. This is a chill and smoke session. I'm obviously hot. Come on. Help, help me out here. Anyway. Now we're getting to the point that's relative to the entire point of this, which is what the rent was like. 
So at some point, I had to come in there like Negan with a bat to get my shit. That's how bad it got. I'm leaving it at that. I ain't swinging it at nobody. I ain't use it. But it was like a, it was like a yo, like I'm, I'm here. I literally knocked on my bedroom door and I literally did the Negan. Little pig, little pig, let me in. I really did it. It was bad. Like she was holding my shit hostage. And like I couldn't explain to my dad that that was happening because he... I didn't want him to like come over there or whatever. It's not that type of environment, you know, where you do that type of shit. So. Oh my God. I finally get out of that house. Thanks to Will. Thanks to my bro, Will. And. There's still a bunch of my stuff left in there, but I decided to leave it there for the meantime because she's going to be there. Let me not put too much stress or too much stuff on her before Christmas. You know, let me... And I invite her back to the house, whatever, da 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 this, da 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 that. On New Year's Day, we went out to see a movie, me and her, because we were still trying to, you know, figure out the relationship. And when I tell you, yo, and when I tell you, yo, the girl that had invited us into the house, the girl who was having, who had the, you know, whose apartment it was, calls me multiple times during the movie and I text her like, yo, we're in the middle of a movie, like, what's up, is there something wrong? And she's like, yo, Christina didn't pay the rent again. So I'm looking at her like, you was in the apartment. Like, you got the money. Go pay the rent. What is the issue here? She giving me a whole bunch of excuses about it. I didn't think about it. I didn't go to the ATM. I just kind of ran here. I was prepared for this. Da-da-da this, da-da-da that. See? Relative, right? We're getting to the rent part here. So I'm getting the call, she getting the call. We got to mute both the phones. I forgot what movie it was. I think it was some corny shit. And, <laughs> yo. So we go back home. I feel like we took an Uber. I feel like we took a cab. I feel like it was some dumb shit. We definitely did some dumb shit. Um... <laughs> She comes home with me and decides to go to my house instead of going back to the house because we still didn't have a key to the front door at that time. So she was like, you're not going to keep me out here in the cold and have me wait for the door to be open. Wouldn't it be better for me to just go in the morning when like more people are going in and out? And I was like, you know what? That's kind of right. But the fact that we still don't got a front door key, the fact that she couldn't help us out with that. That's crazy. She kind of just won our money and that's it. So I was like, cool, whatever, whatever. Like, do you, do you, sis, right? She leave the house. Like, four days pass. I don't hear from her. So I'm like, I guess she finally realized she got to do her own thing, you know? Got to do your own thing, you know? I get a call and be like, yo, <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't seen this shit coming a mile away, son. You couldn't, you can't predict this part. And now we're finally at the part that is the whole purpose of, we're finally at the part, which is the whole purpose of this story. It turned out that this girl Fucking made copies of the front door, the house key, and had sold them on Craigslist, bro. When I tell you, when I tell you, bro. Now, to be honest, to be fair, to be sure, to be like, this could have been made up. 
and fabricated. This could have been. But it was very doubtful that it was because it was coming from more than like just her herself. Like her, her I guess her big homie or whatever. I guess her big homie or whatever. Like, and we're talking about the girl who was in the apartment. Um, he had called me and he was like, yo, I'm in the house. I'm in, I'm in the house, like I see. So I was asking him about a bunch of stuff that I still had there and he was like, yeah, I see that. I see that over here, I see the games, I see all of that. And I was like, all right, cool. So I would like to come over and get my stuff sometime. And this girl that had the apartment, this bitch, her name was Danny. This bitch said some dumb shit like, no, you and her both are responsible for this. Like, I hate da 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 this and that. You're not welcome here anymore. Don't ever pull up again. And I was like, but my stuff is still there. Like, I still got to get my stuff out. Like, yeah, she was running a racket. Absolutely. The, not only was she running a racket, um, the girl who had invited us in was running a racket. And I'm about to explain it to you because it's the part of that story. So I had given her a security deposit, which was double the rent. She did never gave that check back to me. She never gave that shit back to me. She never gave, like... Or she just dead ass just dipped on me. So I pulled up one day and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pop up in the apartment. I'm gonna pop up in the apartment. I'm gonna pop up in the apartment. Most chaotic low lighting situation on Twitch right now. I think it's interesting, you know? It gives you a different, like, gives you something different to, to view at points. Have you never, have you never heard She's Crafty by the Beastie Boys? I haven't. I have not. So, like, what had really gotten me was, what really got, had gotten me was, not only did I pull up unannounced, not only... <laughs> but like after all the conversations we had she really pulled up on me like i don't believe you're talking to me about your fucking ha like you're talking to me about how there's roaches in my apartment you think i'm dirty i went to your house and there was roaches in there bitch no there wasn't that was the whole point about me being comfortable is the fact that i haven't had a bug in my house for the last fucking like two three years like come on anyway regardless of all of that shit you know what that really fucking killed me I found out, like, I think a week after all of this had went down, my ex-co-worker, Danny, who had invited us to move in, it wasn't even her apartment. It was her homegirl's apartment, and she was letting her control, like, who lived in there and whatnot. And so she was talking all that blah, 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 zee, blah, and she was running a ragged too. That's why she kept trying to raise the rent, saying, I can't have two people living in here for that amount, da, 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 this and that, da, 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 this and that. Because she was trying to make money on it. She was trying to make money on it. She was trying to make money on it, too. So everybody was running a ragged. And to end the story with Christina, because, you know, it's fucking weird, bro. One time she came back in, like, March, and I let her in because I was like, and I'm not even, yo, I'm skipping the whole, like, I had to call the police on her and have her put in a mental institution to which when I went to go visit her in that mental institution, instead of just leaving that bitch alone, um, instead of just leaving that bitch alone, I went to go visit her in the mental institution and she blamed me for her being in there, even though I tried to tell her, like, yo, you shouldn't be at my house at 4.30 at night ringing the doorbell at 4.30 a.m. Like, you shouldn't be ringing the doorbell asking me for a fucking sock because you have your period and you can't afford pads. Like, maybe we shouldn't be doing or having this conversation at this point in time. To which what really, 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 really fucking smoked me was, like, she came over again and I had taken some money from her because her dad still paid the rent while she was in that mental institution, the hospital. Um, but she was in the mental ward. I'm not even going to, like, hide this shit. Um, I should have just kept the money that he... I should have just stole that fucking money. That would have been a nice... That would have been a nice set of money, bro. That would have been beautiful. Anyway, um... 
what really bit me that day is that she came over and I let her back in the fucking house again. We had sex again. And we, we were looking at each other. And the dancer shows a fair amount of skin. <laughs> oh, you mean the link you sent me? Oh, yeah, that might be TOS. Yeah. But the story was TOS. I was like, Um, so, in the morning, I'm preparing for work, I'm at the new job now, and you know, I got my little position, I got my little place, before it wasn't like really like I wasn't really doing much, and then at some point I was actually asked to do a lot, and I was able to handle it, so I was kind of proud of myself. At 12.30, so she knew how to snook you with that punani. This melting person, and how dare they? How dare they attempt to read paradigm? <laughs> Yo, so twelve thirty. I gotta leave in ten minutes. She asked me for breakfast. She asked me for fucking breakfast, bro. breakfast can i make her breakfast because she's hungry so i'm sitting there like and i still do it i still do it i still do it i still do it i still fucking do it bro and then while i'm making the breakfast she takes off her clothes and starts washing them and she's like You like my clothes smell, I need to wash them. So she started washing her clothes, and I'm like, oh my fucking God, bro, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go to work. What is happening right now? And she's like, <laughs> she's like, is she like, She like working, working, working life hard, bro. But if I don't go to work, I might starve, bro. While but she's standing go, there in my fucking so room, next year I gotta make it even in my room, room, almost right where I'm sitting. First world problem. <laughs> I don't think he did. You're getting too close to the end of this story. I used to hack dudes. Yo, she. Yo, she. <laughs> she. <laughs> Sitting there naked. <laughs> he walked up to me in the kitchen and she's like, yo, why would you leave me there? I thought you loved me. Why would she's going to have an emotional breakdown with three minutes to go? Yeah, anyone with a place to crash. Okay, so now that I've dragged her through the mud anymore, it turned out she was cheating on me with two of my friends at the time, which is... <sighs> the odd... Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Paradigm Shift. I hope you enjoyed the light show. I'm putting the light back in its proper place. If you like this, if you like this episode, please do me a favor. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. My chat is going nuts. <laughs> and my chat's going nuts because I just I just buried the lead. And you should be here too. Um, but you can subscribe because I'm never leaving you guys. My YouTube frog's always gonna eat. And I'll see you in the next one. Wait, wait, don't end the YouTube. Hold on. Okay, what? <laughs> okay, what? Okay, what? Alright, looks like it's not ending. 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 This is a coda. This is a coda. We got a coda going. Who the fuck was Emily? Yo, some bitch who blocked me like a week after that because we she lived in Kentucky or some shit and she I guess liked me and I she was like I want you to come to Kentucky and I'm like I ain't going to fucking Kentucky. <laughs> Yo, yeah, who the fuck was Emily, bro? <laughs> Oh my god, who the fuck was Emily though? Like, there's not even a door to get in or out.
And then she tell, told mad people that like I assaulted her. And I was like, no, I just I just left you to get dressed after drying your clothes and we walked away. How you falling for these girls? Because you wasn't in my life. And that is where we're gonna end today's segment and I'll see you in the next one. Bitches.